solicitations to reliable sources, restricting contract solici solicitations to domestic sources pursuant to statutory authority, stockpiling critical components, and developing substitutes for critical components or critical technology items. So they have, they reserve the right to restrict contract solicitations or restrict uh, to reliable sources or to domestic sources. Uh, so they can take your business away if you're not interested in cooperating. You know what I'd, I'd like to know, Angie, is you know when did this ever meet committee somewhere? You it know, did. anywhere. It's an executive order. <laughs> I get, I get that. I but but things that you know are all encompassing like this. You know that uh, that affect the the entire structure and our way of life here in this country. That for crying out loud, that just the stroke of a pen, right. what the stroke of a pen can do. I don't even know how to respond to this executive order, uh, other than to say that uh, I know how to. I'm going to wipe my rear end with it. That's how what I'm going to we'll do with it because this is. I mean, <clears throat> this. I, I know that people would say, "Well, they'll, they'll try to carry it out." Yeah, I, I understand that, but it's more about fear. It's more about we're going to come get you. Right. The the whole point of them releasing it on Saturday, though. I was asked that earlier. Why would they release it on the weekend? Yeah. Well, they released it on the weekend because a Saturday is like the dead day in the news cycle, where it's it's there's they, they, it's always like entertainment news and and uh, just time wasting crap. Really, there's never anything there. The only time anything ever comes out on a Saturday is if something comes out breaking news and the news pounces all over it because there's really nothing else out there. And they knew that this would get buried in the headlines because it's St. Patty's Day. Right. So it comes out at the Friday, the day before, the, the, the night before St. Patty's Day on a St. Patty's Day weekend. No one's going to see this till Monday. It'll already be three, four days old, and yes. there'll be something, I'm sure, between now and Monday morning to, you know, Tim brought up a good point. What's going to come out Monday morning that's going to, uh, you know, overshadow this and be something else? You know, it'll be the new news. It'll be the new, oh, my God, you know, we have to focus on this. Don't worry that they're, you know – the Constitution, in their eyes, is now null and void. And, and the same way they did this, that they just did now, they did, you know, the exact same thing with NDAA. You know, they stretched it out, and they waited till what? Uh, New Year's Eve, December 31st, when, you know, they knew everybody's going to be drinking or hung over the next day. And then that's the day that uh, Obama, with a heavy heart, signs the National Defense Authorization Act. Right. <laughs> so, and now they do it again the exact same way here. <laughs> you know, on, on a uh, on a drinking holiday, I guess you could say. Look, look, let's get something straight. If your spouse is caught doing something, like cheating on you, and and all your friends tell you, no, 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 give them another chance, no, give them another chance, and you give them another chance, and they do it again, uh, and, and would would you go and give them a third and a fourth and a fifth time, or would you get rid of them? Yeah. Gone. Well, that's the same way you got to look at this with the government. It's a relationship we have with this government. They are treating us like we're an abused spouse. They're beating us up. They're verbally abusing us. They're physically ab abusing us. They're trying to yeah, use intimidation and fear to keep us in line. And at the end of the day, it's because they fear us. And every day they get more and more fearful. And it's being projected out onto the public by doing things like what you see with the NDAA and this executive order and everything else. Norman – or not Norman, uh, Mineta, Secretary of Transportation. Listen to me. Uh, Leon Panetta. Yeah, Panetta, the, the Secretary of Defense. He – his whole thing with the Marines in Afghanistan, what does that show you? That shows you that he's afraid. They, it shows you that they're all afraid. They are so fearful, it's not even funny, and that's why they're doing this stuff. They're acting this way because they are afraid. Because, it, yeah, he did that because he knows he's committing treason. These people work for us. It is not the other way around. I don't care what they say or how many times they insist that we work for them. It's just simply not the case. And it's time to fire these people. They're not doing their jobs, and they're damn sure not going to tell us. And not just us. fire them, but hold them accountable for the, the treasonous and seditious things that they've done. That's the, right. The millions of people that they're responsible for, uh, you know, uh, being removed from the planet, disappearing, 
all those deaths. They all need to be held. I mean, I'm I'm down for firing them, but I want everybody to make sure that they understand that these people also, at the end of the day, need to be held accountable. And that means punishing them. That doesn't mean putting them in jail and patting their asses and being all nice to them and giving them three hots and a cot. Because they, they certainly didn't afford that to any of those little kids that they dropped bombs on and blew to pieces that didn't do anything. So, pa- Popeye, what is the punishment for treason? Death. Yeah. Right. That's right. I'm not saying I'm going to kill anybody or we should kill anybody. Uh, I'm saying that by law and found guilty. That's right. Punished accordingly. And that's by the rules on the books. They're always, you know, thrown in in our faces. We have to play by the rules. Well, these are the rules on the books. But see, they don't want to play by the rules if it doesn't favor them. The only time they play by the rules is when they make the rules. And the rules are always slanted in their favor. And, and, and and all this stuff is illegal and seditious and treasonous as far as I'm concerned. Let's make a distinction between the two sides here, too. I mean, we are trying to preserve the Constitution. You know, all of us, everybody that's listening right now, we're trying to preserve the Constitution. These other people, they're trying to take it away from you every single way they possibly can. And they've got their hooks in it pretty bad right now, guys. That's right, Tim. That's absolutely right. We cannot allow them to get away with what they're planning on doing. Uh, (laughs) I don't care what has to be done. I would like it if uh, they would come to their senses so that things don't have to get ugly. But we do not have to and should never surrender to this kind of totalitarian treasonous control ever. Section 312, Modernization of Equipment. The head of each agency engaged in the procurement for national defense uh, under presidential authority may utilize the authority of Title III of the Act to guarantee the purchase or lease of advanced manufacturing equipment and any related services with respect to such equipment for the purposes of the Act in considering Title III Um, The head of each agency engaged in procurement for the national defense shall provide a strong preference for proposals submitted by small business suppliers or subcontractors in accordance with section so on and so on. Uh, So they're saying that uh, they will give uh, preference to proposals that are submitted by small businesses or uh, subcontractors. But these people are being forced to uh, work for the government anyway. (sighs) Part four, voluntary agreements and advisory committees. Let's see. Section 401, delegations. The authority of the president under sections, names the sections, is delegated to the heads of agencies otherwise delegated authority under this order. The status of the use of such delegations shall be furnished by the Secretary of Homeland Security. Advisory Committees. The authority of the President under Section, gives the Section, and delegated in Section 401 of this order relating to establishment of advisory committees shall be exercised only after consultation with and accordance with guidelines and procedures established by the Administrator of General Services. We have to ask permission for everything, basically. Uh, Section 403, Regulations. The Secretary of Homeland Security, after approval of the Attorney General and after consultation by the Attorney General with the Chairman of the Federal Trade Commission, shall promulgate rules pursuant to Section, gives the Section, incorporating standards and procedures by which voluntary agreements and plans of action may be developed and carried out. Such rules may be adopted by other agencies to fulfill rulemaking requirement of Section 708 gives the the remainder of the section. Part 5, Employment of Personnel. Section 501, National Defense Executive Reserve. National Defense Executive Reserve, okay? This is a reserve corps under the executive branch for national defense. A, in accordance with section, gives the section, there is established in the executive branch a National Defense Executive Reserve, or NDER, uh, composed of persons of recognized expertise from various segments of the private sector and from government, except for full-time federal employees, because they already work for the government, for training for employment in executive positions 
uh, in the federal government in the event of a national defense emergency. The Secretary of Homeland Security shall issue necessary guidance for the NDER program, which was the National Defense Executive Reserve Program, uh, including appropriate guidance for establishment, recruitment, training, and monitoring and activation of NDER units. Okay, they're going to be drafting people to serve him uh, under these units, the, under the National Defense Executive Reserve Corps, uh, and shall be responsible for the overall coordination of the NDER program. Okay, so it's under the Secretary of Homeland Security, and he's going to be issuing guidance uh, for how to run these corps uh, of slave 